This is a short clip from my parent membership group on Subscribestar. That's where I post my most practical and comprehensive videos. Once a month, I address common questions in the form of a topic video. And I also run live monthly Q&As where parents can submit a question and briefly talk through their situation with me. Please check out my Subscribestar to learn more about the different subscription levels. Now here's the video. So physically changing the body, right, to, to emphasize or de-emphasize masculinity or femininity could be like, I hate my hips. If you think about this, girls with eating disorders often feel very uncomfortable with the parts of their body that tend to be associated with like very feminine women's bodies, big boobs, big hips. Girls with eating disorders, particularly anorexia, want these kind of very skinny stick figure bodies. And interestingly enough, girls with ROGD, gender dysphoria issues, often want to de-emphasize their breasts, their hips, etc. So binding, this brings us back to binding. I, I thought about something that, again, kind of is staying within this realm of the metaphor if you think of the kind of trajectory of a lot of these girls, they start questioning their identity because they read about material online or they're trying to understand, again, their diffuse, generalized distress. And if you are a young person who believes you've landed upon some discovery about yourself and the next step is to change everything about yourself, change your name, change your identity, change your pronouns, change how people see you, change your wardrobe, change your hair, change your appearance, change your preferences. Stop liking all that stuff you used to like, that girly stuff. Imagine how destabilizing that is. I use that word a lot. I just can't think of a better word. It's like you're falling down a well, a well of like life-changing crap that you have to do. And I've heard a lot of kids say, and parents will tell me like, what does this mean? My daughter said, I don't want to be trans. I wouldn't do this to myself if I could stop it. I just have no choice. So there's really like almost a powerlessness. And I think it's interesting to ask a question about binding. Binding is containment. Binding is compression. Binding is holding things in. Binding is support, like high support bra. I mean, super high support. So I wonder if there's something metaphorical about that, that I need to feel contained and I need to feel myself. Like it's, it's, it's something that I wonder about. Like there, is there something metaphorical about the binder? Do I feel so lost at sea? Am I flailing around with no direction that this binder kind of contains me and gives me a sense of structure? I don't know. If you found this video helpful, you'll want to join my parent membership group where you'll find a lot more depth and detail along with practical parenting advice. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching.